Let's take a look at a hip switch, and in this case, I just simply want to compare it to what it's not, which would be a hip rotation. Now, a hip rotation is anytime I'm controlling weight on one foot in order to rotate my body. So an example of it is if I wanted to get into a drop, I could do a hip rotation, in this case an outside hip rotation, to pull to one leg in order to access that space. Or if I was doing an inside hip rotation, my inside foot is planted now, and I could pull to that foot to once again access this space. But in both of those cases, one pulled me a little further back, one pulled me a little bit forward. Now a hip switch is a way that in which we can save all of our space. And so it's if I want to stay exactly where I am, which means it's going to be a little bit more urgent because I'm not having one foot control the weight at all. And so a hip switch in this case would be standing in this place in time and physically stay there as I rotate my hips. So I'm going to pick up both my feet, rotate myself into that same drop. And so this is going to be a lot more urgent. You've got to be able to explode off of it quicker than you would if you were doing a hip rotation. And so keep in mind that when you're doing this hip switch, the action should be quick to rotate, quick to explode. You're not going to feel like you have as much time because you're not controlling weight on one foot. There's no partial pivots. So start off, if you're using a mat, make sure that it's staying completely underneath you. And so this circles underneath me and it's going to stay. And as I pound the basketball or I could do it off of the float, everything has to happen at once. So pick up my feet, rotate the hips, land in the drop, and in this case, explode. And so that's gonna be our hip switch. So set up, work on rotating the hips, rotate to it, and explode to your spots for shots, for drives, whatever you wanna do out of that. And obviously, you gotta be able to go the other way. And so be able to do this is good for your body, good for your hips, teaches you how to rotate, but obviously is a great move that you can use in the game. And so having your hip switch, watch both feet pick up all at once, be able to rotate, hit those spots, and explode. So spend some time on your hip switch, making sure both feet are being involved with it, not just one at a time. You have to be able to help a player without being biased about them. I don't ask if they will ever be athletic enough to add this to their game, or if they'll ever be tall enough to add that. I don't ask if they will ever shoot well enough to take that shot. I just give them the ability to take it and make it. And I believe that online training programs should take on that same unbiased approach. Because the whole idea of pre-made workouts are always based on preconceptions. The whole concept of just mastering three to four things at a time is built on knowing what you need as a player. And it will only work if you happen to fit that mold. That's why our system is built on a checklist. We don't ask the question of who you are. We simply operate within a structure to let you decide who you want to become. Get through the checklist and let your gifts and talents come to life. It's a better way, a skill building way, and it's available through our MLXT checklist training system.